Well, welcome everybody. Darren Saul here, your host of Playing With Perspective, the Suspended Animation Podcast. I have a fantastic show, doing what he loves most, with actor, writer, director, and talk show host, Tal Levy. How are you doing, Tal? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, man. Really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to getting into your story. But uh, for everybody out there who doesn't know who Tal is, Tal Levy is an actor, writer, director, and talk show host from Sydney, Australia. He fell in love with film and the creative arts from a very young age and has been writing, directing, and acting in his own short films ever since. He has had the privilege of studying at some of the most prestigious film schools in the country, including NIDA, and is determined to make a name for himself doing what he loves. A small sample of his short films include Future Self, Surrender, and his latest film, Pandemia, which tells the story of a young man dealing with life in the midst of the COVID-19 era. He also hosts his own talk show, The Late Night Show with Tal Levy. So Tal, how you doing, my man? I'm doing great, thanks. Excellent. Thanks it's for a me. bit of a rainy day here. It is a bit um, of a rainy day, but a good day for a podcast. Amazing day. So now tell, tell us, you know, you're obviously very young. How old are you? I'm 13. 13. And you've already done four short films. You've studied at NIDA. So when, tell us when all this started. When did you get the acting, directing and writing bug? And what was, tell me about your history. So when I was five, I have always wanted to be an actor, director, and I've, I've just fell in love. I've been obsessed with movies and things that... <laughs> I like to watch films. I like to pick up what different type of film techniques and how to. So one of my favorite actors, of course, is um, uh, Mariska Hargitay from SVU. Oh, yes. I, li I like to watch that show. I like crime, especially. Nice. Nice. Uh, and do you, like, and do you like movies more than series or do you like a bit of both? Well, they're two very different things. So... TV series could either be one hour long each episode. Yep. So they've got more of a story or some episodes could be 20 minutes or if a movie is over an hour and if it's okay. not over an hour, it's the short film. They call it the short film. Yeah. And now short films are something that you've done a lot of, isn't it? Yes. Um, I'm actually working on a new feature film called oh. Surrender, wow. which is not a short film. I'm trying to make it two hours something like that 95 page script and we're actually starting our shooting next week <laughs> and where is that going to be shot uh it's going to be shot at my dad's house because he's the one with the green screen wow and have you got a big cast lined up i've got a very big cast and I'm, I'm, i want to make the film as uh i'm not actually sure i never actually counted but i've got a lot of people a lot of roles and stuff Fantastic, man. So actually, before we get into your new film, let's talk a bit about some of your old films. Tell us about the first film you ever made, the first short film. The you first, made. F well, it's not really, it, I made like a very bad type of, in 2017, I used to love making movies with my sister and stuff. Yep. And we used to, it's called, it was like a very short film. I forgot the name of it actually, yep. but it was, I, I expected it to be some kind of action film. Yep. Like, but I, I think I just, I think, but it, it turned out to be a really bad type of action, not even oh, action right. film. It's, well, yeah, it's so as I, as, I, as I grew older, I wanted to uh, make more professional films and yeah. more films. Uh, so this last year, I actually picked up the bug again and I made a short film called Future Self, which is, yep. it's better than the previous one, but it's not like one of those Avengers type of short right. film. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like one of those action short films. So it's about this this man who so some so there was destruction and monsters taking over his world. He doesn't like it. And on the he was watching TV one day and he found out that uh, scientists confirmed that if people uh, created cyborgs because they tested out, it could actually help save the world and so stop the destruction so he clones himself into like a cyborg type of twin brother thing yep. and he goes on an adventure to save the world a third time my god and so and now i want to that is all 20 minutes 
all 20 minutes. So all 20 why, minutes. why is it that you, you like to do a lot of short films up till now? Well, to be honest with you, I try to make one hour long movies and I actually can't. Like okay. I just, I should, the script seems long, but when we actually film it, yeah. it's a bit short. So the future self script was pretty short. Like pretty, it was a sh long script. Yeah about 20 pages or something, but it had a lot of writing on each page. Yeah. So it turned out to be 20 minutes. Okay, that's amazing. You can imagine how much goes into a full feature film, how many yeah, pages that would be film. and how much preparation I, it would be. What I've been always wanting to uh, discover is how actors, uh, do you know the movie Seven? Yeah, with Brad Pitt. How they make How they make types of movies like that and how long the script is, is like that thick or, Absolutely. Is there a lot of writing on one page or something? Absolutely. And now that brings up a really good question because you, you write your own films, you direct your own films. You and I enjoy it. in your films as well. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And I love acting. I love directing. I like writing. It gives me something to do as I don't do that much sport. <laughs> Fantastic. It's something, uh, it's a lot more of a hobby and it's going to be a profession soon. That's awesome, man. Because, you know, you talk to a lot of actors and they say, oh, I'm just going to st stick with acting because directing a film is a whole other ball game and there's so much work that goes into it. So you do that as well as writing and starring in it. That's a lot of commitment. Yeah, but I, I enjoy doing it and it's really fun for me. It's something I want to do when I grow older and yep. something that's going to provide for me very well. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to yes. live a happy life doing what I love. That's great, man. And you can look back later on and see all the films you've made. And but be to be honest, uh, I just found out this yesterday that uh, Tim Burton started directing at 13. Whoa. No and way. look where he is now. There you go. <laughs> well, He's making all sorts come. of film. He's yeah, making all sorts of films with Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well done. And so tell me about how do you get the inspiration for your films? Where, where does the inspiration come to you? So usually when I'm watching TV, I like to pick up different scenes and yeah. create my own films using those scenes. So if I see like something in Avengers, I like to put it in one of my own films as well as so action films uh, and sci-fi films. I, I'm really good at, I also edit uh, some of those and I've well. taken uh, editing courses at, uh, or animation courses at Afters in 2018. Uh, yep. I think I told you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for about two years or half a year, one year. I'm not really sure. Well done, well done. Um, so yeah, pretty, that was... Pretty, pretty busy time. And so, Pandemia, I want to hear about that film because that's obviously oh, very relevant. Now, that has been my re recent film. I am... I actually don't know when I'm going... I've just written the script, but I'm still working on how I'm going to create the film. It's a big gotcha. job and it's a, it's a short film actually. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be released on the 29th of November. Yep. Nice. Which is pretty long time away. It's still a long time away. Yeah, so I've got a lot of time. Tell us a bit about the script. What's it about? Uh, so it's about a young boy who, who gets tested positive for coronavirus. Oh boy. And he must deal with life inside quarantine and it's from his perspective how life in quarantine is uh, until something bad happens. Wow. And, and, the, and at the end, there's kind of a cliffhanger. Yep. And yeah. so you, you just, how long did it take you to write that film? It took me about two days to write it. It's a two short days, film. Straight two days. Wow. Yeah. Well then, and do you already have an idea as to who you're going to have starring in that? Who's going to be filming it? All well, that kind of it's just like a short film because I used to do films in 2017 with my family. I want to do that again. I want to get, give them a chance of being in my films and stuff. Nice. nice. Yeah. And who, so, in the, who in the family likes to be in your films? Um, my dad likes to be in my films as yep. well as uh, a lot of people. Okay. So you're going to bring the whole family in as they're well. All, they're all open to film. It's going to be like, it's going to be like Francis Ford Coppola. You're going to bring it all yeah. the family. I love it, Tal. So tell us a bit about your passion in film. Who are some of your favorite actors and directors of all time? Oh, I've got a lot. Uh, so two of my favorite actors are two very good Law & Order stars, uh, Mariska Hargate and Christopher Maloney from Man of Steel something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I've got a lot. Like, I like Morgan Freeman. Oh, I like... Yeah. 
Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel's one of my favorites. Yeah, Denzel in The Bone Collector, especially. Oh, He's brilliant. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. And I also like, uh, I also really like Melissa McCarthy. She's funny. Yep, she's cool too. And what about directors? Who are some of the directors? Directors, I, I really like Steven Spielberg. I think mm. his job of producing is amazing. Yep. And he's, he started directing and producing at 11. Whoa, as well. And as now well. he's making, and now he's earning like millions, billions of dollars for his films. So... Incredible. I, I love, films are brilliant. I love that you know about all these directors that started directing when they were 10 and 11 years old. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's obviously a passion of yours and there's not, not going to be anything stopping you. This is Nothing where, you're, this stop is where me. you're going to be. I love it. This is what I like to do and this is how I'm going to live. And I feel like I want to get, I want to just see how the film turns out, how Surrender turns out. Nice. I want to see if I can continue with uh, doing acting and directing. But even if it doesn't turn out that great, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to continue doing what I like most. I'm sure you're going to do very well. And when you play a role in your films, do you always make sure that you play just a smaller part or do you sometimes play the leading role as well? So for Future Self, I had three main roles since that was a one man film some like a few guest stars in it or something yep. and uh oh, sorry my dad was calling me uh sorry <laughs> um and um i just really like i have to get a chance to i just want to be in my film and yep. like i want others to be in my film as well so for yep. surrender i've got I'm playing like a, a small role. So a prison guard, that's in only one scene. Well, the rest of the crew are different people from my school. Wow. And they all want to be in the movie. And I can imagine everybody's probably lining up to be in your films now. Yeah. Right. You've become a very popular boy. Oh, I wish. <laughs> and so tell, tell us a bit about how you come up with the costuming and the you know, the production behind it all, because that takes, that costs money. That takes, takes time. time. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to, so where I bought my handcuffs for my film, I went yeah. to, to win them at a bowling thing yeah. oh, and stuff. And they were actually really good handcuffs. Right. So I'm going to use them for my movie as well as I've got my director's chair here. Yeah. Um, and I've director's got my chair. green screen here ready to film. I've got my editing softwares open. Yep. And you and use, uh, obviously you use iMovie or what other software do you use? I use Adobe After Effects, iMovie yeah. on uh, rare occasions and Premiere Pro. Yeah, I don't really use that much, but uh, when I have to, I use it. That's quite a famous one, Premiere Pro. Everyone talks about that in the film. Yeah, everyone talks yeah. about it. They say it's amazing, but sometimes I only know how to do a few things on there. Whereas After Effects, I know how to do a lot of things. Okay, yep. Awesome. Yeah. And now tell us a bit about your, this first full feature film, Surrender. What's that going to be about? And how's it? Uh, okay, so it's, it's kind of like a crime film, like The Bone Collector a little bit, except oh. less gruesome and stuff. Uh, uh, it's going to be about like, it's all take place in New York, but yep. of course we can't be in New York right now. Yeah. But so that's why we've got the green screen ready and ready to film, ready to shoot. And it's about an NYPD squad of detectives who are trying to find a dangerous serial killer oh. who's on the loose and they have to go into lockdown or something. <laughs> um, and yeah, I put a lot of effort into it and it's going to be my biggest film right now. Wow. So how many pages is that one on paper now? That's 95 pages. 95 pages. And how long did it take you to write that script? That took me about two months, six months. Two, two months to six months of work. Impressive. And when yeah. do you do most of your, when do you find that you're most inspired in the morning, in the evening, after school, during, lunchtime, when do you do most of your writing? I do it when I come back from school, if I don't have any homework or yeah. sometimes in the night. Yep. But I try to up, give myself a break from up. yeah, the writing. And I, I never do it in the morning. Never in the morning. Never, like, never like, have you ever sleep and you wake up in the morning with a, an idea and you have to just write it down? Sometimes I have a dream. Yep. And I just feel like I need to put that into a film, so I write it down. Oh my god, man! That's so I write the ideas on my phone. Yep, and then you. And then up. I just put it on my computer. Sensational. 
Love it. And uh, what, have you have you done any um, got any pilots or anything to show people yet, or it's just got to be done from scratch? Well, it's just got to be done from scratch. Like we're filming the first scene on the seventh of November, yep. which is on a Saturday, and then we're gonna. Uh, uh, wait till the big holidays to film on most of the scenes until 2022. Oh, sensational, Tal. And so now, Tal, I believe that you also have your own late night TV show. And yes, that I've got two episodes. Yep. One I had to delete. Oh, why did you have to from delete? YouTube because uh, one of my, well, the person that I was guest starring actually quit her YouTube channel and. Yeah, so there was no point in me Zoom calling or oh. interviewing her if it was deleted. It's going to be deleted. So how do you do it? you do it through Zoom or do you do it some other way? We did it through Zoom. Uh, the second episode, which is still on, yep. uh, is uh, face-to-face. So it's a face-to-face interview. Okay. And so uh, but what, what, what kind of people do you like to interview in your show and what's the structure of your show? So it depends on like their profession. So if they've got like businesses or if they're actors or if they're photographers or yeah. podcasters. Okay. Awesome. And uh, how long do the or, episodes usually go for? Um, about 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Nice. And you do a lot of preparation for that or do you just like to keep it? Yes, free? I do. Awesome. And so you enjoy I that? write down the questions and I send it to the person that I'm interviewing. Awesome. And do you have like, uh, do you have that only in YouTube or do you have that on another platform or in a podcast app or something like that as well? Um, well, it's not really a podcast. It's like a talk show. So, a talk show, so pure video. So it's on YouTube, but on YouTube. where's it grows, when it grows bigger or something, we're going to put it onto more uh, serious platforms or more video on demand platforms or something like Netflix oh. or, but Fantastic. that's a dream come true. Fantastic. And so, Tell us, I mean, what's your plans for the future? Obviously, you've got to continue making films. Do you want to go overseas? Do you want to start doing any particular types of films that you haven't done yet? If, I, if I'm chosen to do acting or directing yep. um, or writing, yep. if I have to do that overseas, I will do it. Okay. But I will make sure to come back and see my family as much as possible <laughs> when I'm on break from filming. Or Fantastic. Have you ever been in... Like those films with, and you have your own trailer and all that kind of thing? Yes. I Future Self had a trailer, uh, which I can, uh, I can't really show that right now as I don't have it. Yeah. But what's it like being in the trailer and just preparing for your scenes? That's pretty it's, cool. It's a, it's a really, it's a, it's a trailer that's really good. It's my best, it's my only trailer that I've done, wow. but it's my best one. Okay. Nice. Well done, Tal. Well, man, we wish you the best of luck. I think you're going to be a big star because you've got such passion and you've really done so many things at such a young age. So the sky's the limit. And the most important thing is to keep following your dream uh, because it's, you know, it's so obvious that you are going to make it and you're going to continue to go forward and do whatever you love to do because it's, it's just part of who you are. I'm going to continue doing what I love and I'm going to continue what I do, lo- what I do love most, which is directing and acting. Love it, man. Love it. And, you know, it's nice that you're also going to keep an eye on your family and make sure you bring them along in the, on the journey with you. And get, and yes, get they are. And possibly directing and uh, writing as well. Yes, they are very important. Fantastic, man. So what would you like to leave the audience with today before we finish off? Well, when I was five, I used to love uh, acting more than directing. But then I started writing. So and I, I, I didn't really like, I, I didn't really want to do uh, writing but i felt like writing it's as much but it's hard work, it's hard work so huh? i do i try new things and i end up enjoying it beautiful so you so try new things and end up in, and you end up enjoying it perfect so your philosophy is don't shy away from anything try as many new things go on the journey and see where it leads and you probably start end- ending up enjoying what you do yes that's that i couldn't put it in my own words better Beautiful, mate. Very good advice there from Tal Levy. Well, Tal, man, it's been such a pleasure to have you on the show. Yes, and, and I'm uh, very glad to be here. I'm very glad to be on the show. My pleasure. And if everybody wants to find out about you and, and look up what you're doing, how can they best get in touch with you? Um, so if they want to get in touch with me, uh, just go on my Instagram. Uh, follow me. You can 
Contact me on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, Tull Levy Official. Okay, Tull Levy Official. And what's your YouTube channel? My, I don't have a, my YouTube channel is the Late Night Show Tull Levy. Late Night Show Tull Levy, beautiful. And obviously you're on Facebook as well. So Facebook. Is, I'll, we'll put the links in the uh, in the show notes. Description. In the description, so everybody can get in touch with you if they need. Yeah. And, uh, to all the audience, if you've got some good ideas for scripts or good ideas for movies. And or... if the audience needs any ideas, if they're actors and they want ideas for films, just come to me and I'll help right. you out as much as possible. Excellent. Tal, we wish you the best of luck. And everybody out there, have a fantastic afternoon. And we'll see you very, very soon for another episode of Playing With Perspective, the Suspended Animation Podcast. Thanks again for joining us, Tal. Uh, thank you for having me. Pleasure. Bye for now.